Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to all of you. My name is Peter Saran. I'm a Spanish journalist. And we hope this will be the most inspiring and happy minutes of this Geneva Motor Show. And among those passionate and tireless visionaries was Damien Matteo, a man who, in 1904, together with a brilliant engineer from this land, Mark Birgit, the Swiss Mark Birgit, founded what it would become Spanish Rita. We are talking about two exceptional people, two exceptional people who decided to change the automo automotive industry. Well, after the Mia Mateo, in 1935, his son Miguel assumed his father passion, and after him, when Spanish Suiza production stopped, his daughter Carmen kept the flame alive through exhibitions, rallies, and the creation of the Spanish Suiza club. And as this is a story of tradition, Carmen owns children felt that that legacy couldn't end. That's why today, Miguel Suque Mateo, son of Carmen, great grandson of Damien, and the current president of Spanish Suiza, is with us. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you, people. My name is here. Thank you all for joining us today. Uh, I apologize in advance for sitting, but I'm, uh, I'm so involved in this new project that I wanted to perform the crash test myself and it looks like I also crashed some of my bones. Let me share with you a short personal story connected to my family that will explain by itself why we are here today. When I was a kid, our dad used to give us a ride in these incredible cases. This is the car of my grandfather, Miguel Mateo, and he used to explain that was built my, by my great grandfather, Damien Mateo. At that stage, of course, I thought it was invented, it was a joke, it was a story. But I always dreamed how amazing it would be if it was real. Some years after, I started to realize that it was true. And from that moment on, I started to feel very passionate about the history of early car and aviation engine industries. I'm not going to explain the history of this brand, which you all, you all may know, but I will tell you that the project started in 1904 in a small workshop in Barcelona. The fact is that the car that we are presenting today has been also created in a similar workshop and again in Barcelona under the original DNA of Hispano Suiza, which means elegance, exclusivity, sportness, and of course, reliability and innovation. For our family, this is not only an industrial project born 115 years ago. Much more than that, it has to do with historical legacy, passion and emotions transferred along four generations. Our mother, Carmen Mateo, granddaughter of the founder Damian, was also a Hispano Suiza enthusiast. She spent more, most of her life absolutely committed to keep this legacy alive. Some years ago, she asked a uh, jeweler to make a gold stock brooch, Hispano Suiza emblem, that she used to wear as I do today. Recently, she told me that one of her dreams would be to see a Hispano Suiza riding the roads of the world again. <coughs> As a little tribute for, to her memory, my siblings, Isabel, Javier and I, decided that this car should be named as our mother, Carmen. She or Woods also represented the DNA of the brand, like no one else. And I'm confident that she would be proud, watching us from heaven. A dream for the whole family that today is a reality. Finally, I would like to say that, as often happens with some prestigious brands, there will be always people trying to, profit, to take profit from them. They will be, of course, uh, have our legal response, as we defend our legitimate interests. After decades per se, we have a brand as an important legacy of my family. No one else has the family gene. We really hope that you enjoyed this presentation and this Spanish Suiza Carmen as much as we have enjoyed making it possible. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup.
Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much, Neil, for being here. It's an honor. As you know, as you can imagine, DNA is not something that can be improvised or copied. You either have it or you don't. That's why I suppose you needed a long time to be sure you were creating something exceptional, but of course under this original DNA. As we were saying, this story is about something else. We were talking about emotions, about personal bonds, about dreams, about real stories, and above all, about a family. Carmen Matteo was an elegant woman who was always behind every single detail and at a time when craftsmanship, leatherwork, tailoring and so many other arts and crafts in Forgotten, this Carmen is unique, handmade, handmade, one by one, one by one, I want to repeat it because this is not normal with each piece different from the previous one, and done in the full of knowledge that they're not manufacturing a car. This is not a car. This is much more. It's a work of art. It's a dream come true that will be for sure desired by the major collectors around the world. And before we reveal the secret of how this karma looks, we should hear how it works. May I introduce you, Marty? Technical Director of Hispano Suiza. Yuk, come on. We want you on stage. Welcome in. How are you doing? Great. Excited. It's fantastic to have you here. Yuk, I know you're an absolute Hispano Suiza expert and enthusiast. And apart from the attributes that Miguel highlighted, there is one more that we should have in mind. This type of art is not affected by the passage of time. And to prove it, the specimen that today we're gonna present is inspired in a model from the year 1938. How is that possible, Luke? Tell me it about It is that. possible, and it is because Hispano Suiza has always been ahead of its time. Damián Mateo and his partner were visionaries, and we have been inspired in one of the most exclusive models that was manufactured to continue where Mr. Mateo left it. This car, the Dubon at Chenia, Chenia, yeah. yeah, was also the, the work of André de Bonnet, a renowned racing driver and an aviation pilot. Experience that we want to transfer to this unique part. The new model we are presenting today, Carmen, is a de Bonnet taken to the highest expression of Hispano Suiza DNA. Um, I know these guys, I mean he's an engineer, right? Uh, you're used to that. These guys want to give us all the details on engineering, technical things. I know you're waiting for that, but let me just wait a bit more, because considering how important the stork is, the story that Miguel was telling us, I would like to suggest a game. Okay. Yeah, I've been researching a lot on the story. I've been 24-7 with National Geographic and just uh, really focused on the story. I'm gonna, I'm gonna suggest a game, which is basically, I'm gonna describe this magnificent animal and you should connect the attributes of the animal to the attributes of the gem we're about to discover. Let's see how an engine, an engineer manages out of the box, out of the comfort zone. Are you ready for that? No. Okay, you can live. You want to do it? No, come on, come on, come on. There's no way. Okay, let's start with an easy one. And uh, everyone knows about this. The best well-known connotation of the stork is that it brings creators to the world. Easy. Simple. Yeah. The new baby Carmen. Even for an engineer, it works. Uh, second, storks, the species, like to participate in large congregations. What do you have to say on that? Like all of us, the Geneva Motor Show. Okay, fast guy, we've got a, we, brought, we brought the best, you know, uh, that's what we have. The stork usually is a silent bird. Could you imagine a silent way of transport an electric car? Not bad, not bad. You're, you're impressing me. Okay, let's go with another one. It migrates and travels thousands of miles trying to find the best possible environment. Designed to live everywhere from Barcelona to the world. Okay, not bad, not bad. He's impressing me. Let's go with the last one. And I want to warn you, this is a hard one. I mean, I, I, I did my, my homework. I mean, this is hard. Stork, a species, usually lay four eggs. And in exceptional cases, they can go up to seven. What do you have to say on that? I think we are close. Oh, come on. Engineer, you're an engineer. You cannot say that. Will lay five and between five and seven eggs a year until we reach 19 babies. 
as you know, this is a limited model and we must preserve the storks to the maximum. I'm absolutely impressed. Please, warm applause for Jörg Marti. Amazing. And, and yeah, don't worry because he's going to come now with the technical part. So give us the technical and engineering features of this car, please. Go with that. Okay. From an engineering and development perspective, we set out from the very beginning to create a technically advanced Grand Tour. This was always the way for Hispana Suiza back in the early 20th century. But now, with today's technologies, we are able to pioneer a new kind of car, the Hyperlux. We use motorsport-derived knowledge to establish Carmen significant fully electric power. The liquid-cooled 80 kWh battery is comprised of more than 700 cells. The battery provides electrical energy to the two 375 motors that drive each of the rear wheels for a total available power of 750 kilowatts, or around 1,019 horsepower. That gives us a phenomenal straight line performance, 0 to 100 in less than 3 seconds, and the top speed will be limited to 250. Also, we are targeting a real-world range exceeding 400 kilometers. That's, that's quite strong performance, but uh, I'm sure there is much more than power alone in this car, right? Yeah. Helping Carmen to achieve such astonishing features, it's below it's the low total mass of just 1,690 kilograms, which we achieve with massive carbon fiber use, like uh, carbon fiber monocoque, rear, rear frame, tracy structure, and all the body panel to provide a great platform for a superb handling. Okay, let's go for the important things for people who doesn't understand that much. How will the Carmen drive? A key objective for the Carmen was to be truly enjoyable to drive. The stiff chassis is combined with a double wishbone suspension setup and other advanced technologies like adaptive dampers, variable roll stiffness and true torque vectoring, all of which contribute to highly responsive handling, very predictable through the corners and very stable at high speeds. Thank you, Yuk. It was amazing. Great explanation. Yuk Marti, the head of technical director at the Spanish Reef. Uh, it sounds like these guys really created a Hyperlux Grand Tour. Uh, amazing. Thank you. So imagine from the 177 horsepower of the Dubonnet to the 1000 of the Carmen, from 0 to 100 in 30 <coughs> seconds of the Dubonnet to this 3 seconds of the Carmen. And of course, electric and with more autonomy. Electric because this family this family are actually reviving the real electric car from 119 years ago. I know it sounds crazy, but it is. That was the original seat of Hispanic Suiza. They rejected it then, but these people made it possible now, which is absolutely amazing. Somehow, nothing seems to have changed, but it's kind of clear that everything has changed. So we said that we're presenting today goes beyond a car, and dreams exist because they are dreamers. And dreams should be lived, at least once in a lifetime. So, dream one. It's important. Miguel, I think we should join the whole Suke Mateo family for this special moment. Isabel, Javier, please, welcome into the stage, please. It's all yours. Besucht mein Blog petrolhead.ch, abonniert meinen Kanal oder klickt hier, um ein anderes Petrolhead Video zu schauen. Hat euch das Video gefallen? Dann freue ich mich über Daumen hoch. Danke!